to go to for the how to, you know that you want to get beautiful. Prince. The kind of AU. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make Hi there primpers and welcome to my Friday video, The Week in Beauty. I hope you've all had a wonderful week. Um, this week here at Primp we've been gearing up for the beginning of New York Fashion Week which actually started today which is wonderful and as also as well as that they've been on a range of amazing celebrity events this week as well including the David Jones Fashion Week launch um, on Wednesday night which kind of got us excited and in the mood for all things Fashion Week related. Um, we've also been celebrating Valentine's Day which is coming up next week so we've been talking a lot about celebrity beauty looks that you can copy for your night out with your loved one as well as nail art, um, beauty products to last throughout date night and that kind of thing. So make sure you check out all of our coverage. But for my personal beauty, beauty highlights of the week, number one is the new Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. Now I've been turning to BB creams kind of in the last few years, just when I'm not looking for a full foundation finish, but looking more for like a light and breathable base. And this one is actually one of my favourites I've tried. It's got a really kind of soft gel-like texture, which is really good for those people who love gel foundations, which I do. And when it kind of smooths on, it just glides on really softly and really just melts into the skin. Um, I'm actually wearing it now. It comes in three shades, so it's fair, light, and medium, and I'm wearing the medium shade now. It's available for $15.95, um, and you can buy it now, but check out my full review. It's definitely one to try out, even if you're not um, a fan of BB creams. Give it a test in store and see what you think of the formula and texture. I absolutely love it. As for my beauty highlight number two, um, I talked about the new Benefit Fine 1 1 highlighter yesterday over in the Beauty Counter blog. And I have one here just to show you. So as you can see, it's really slim and it just kind of slots right into your handbag. But basically, a lot of you said to me you wanted to see what it was like on and how it applied. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an, a rundown of it. This is it here. So as you can see, you've got the kind of like an orange sheer kind of coral colour, which is the darkest one there. And then you've got the second colour here, which is watermelon, which is like a fresh kind of pop of pink. And then you've got the pink champagne highlighter at the end. So when you apply it, the idea is it to follow the natural contour of your cheeks. So you're really getting that light finish across the top of your uh, cheekbones and the high points of your face to really kind of play up that light illuminated finish. So you always put the highlighter the, to closest to your eye, so it's at the top of your cheekbone. And all you do is kind of follow that contour there, like that. As you can see, I've got the pink there, the sheer kind of coral colour there, and the illuminated on the top. Now, obviously, this isn't how it's meant to look, but what you do is you blend it up in a circular motion. And what you're doing, you're just kind of working it into the skin to give like a really kind of fresh and pretty pink, corally kind of pop. And I'll just do it on the other side. So if you can see, just kind of straight up like that. And you can see the champagne colour just along the top of my cheekbones there. And just use one or two fingers to just work it in. And that way you're not getting kind of like a too, like a stripy kind of effect. And just keep blending it in. And the idea is it's a cream to powder formulation, which means it's definitely buildable. And you can just apply as many layers as you see fit and to reach the depth of the intensity. Now, I think with uh, kind of like warmer, deeper skin tones, you might want to try two to three coats. Whereas if you have fairer skin, one to two will definitely be enough. Now... What you can also do then is just kind of dab your finger on the highlight a bit and you can just add a little bit more if you just want a little bit of kind of illuminator on top of the cheekbones there and under the brow bones as well. Anyway, that one is $44 and it's available now. Um, definitely check it out in store. It's really, really beautiful and just a good one as well to have around hanging in your handbag just when you feel like you need a little bit of a touch up. And that's the best thing about it. Even though it does last throughout the day, it's really good to have for touch ups because it doesn't disrupt the base of your makeup either. So check that one out. As for my beauty highlight number three, um, this is kind of like a bit of beauty news because as of February 1, so just earlier this week, um, there's been a price drop across the whole range of Dermalogica products of 20%, which is quite a big drop. Um, now, one of the main reasons is, is to prevent customers and Dermalogica customers in particular from purchasing products from unauthorized stockists, which can often be out of date, they can have um, not the correct ingredients, all of that kind of thing, and people were suffering from adverse effects to the products, which is definitely obviously what nobody wants, including Dermalogica. So you can check out their range of products, which obviously they have new products coming out all of the time. I've included the stockist number here, um, but go in store and check them out, especially if you're looking to stock up on new products. So it's 20% off the whole range. As for my beauty highlight number four is 
my favourite celebrity beauty look of the week, and that was Julianne Hoff at the premiere of her new movie, Safe Haven. Now, Julianne's been a bit of a crush here at Print for a little while now. She just always has this ability to switch up her beauty look. She always looks amazing and fresh and really just vibrant. So she's definitely one of my favourites. Um, and I actually did a little bit of research about her beauty look that at the premiere, and it was kind of centered around the actual Alberta Ferretti dress that she was wearing, which was really beautiful and gold and embroidered. So her makeup artist kind of carried that look onto her makeup. So just really pretty and ethereal, except for those amazing bold brows, which just kind of set off the look. And as well, didn't kind of, we talked a little bit about having that kind of one dimensional spray tan face neck thing, but the bold brows just balanced it out and she looked amazing. So she was my number one beauty look of the week. Although I'm sure with New York Fashion Week kicking off, there'll be a, an array of amazing front lo row looks as well. As for my beauty highlight number five, I couldn't go past without mentioning the new Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. Now I've got it here with me. You might have seen this picture of me holding these. This is the range here. As you can see, it's amazing. We've got the full 46 shades here. Now, the new formulation is kind of including a gel-like finish to your polish and as well as that chip resistance, which is always really important. But what I love most about Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure, which has always been kind of the number one factor of it, was that it was a complete five-in-one and now an eight-in-one product because it's got your base coat, it's got your top coat, your strengthener, your colour, everything involved in it. I'm actually wearing one of the shades now. This is the Fruity Patootie one. You might have seen this in the blog I did earlier in the week. Um, it's just a really kind of fresh and pretty watermelon colour. Um, but the colour itself, when it glides on, it actually does give that gel light manicure. As you can see, it's really, really shiny on my nails. It's beautiful and the formula just smooths on. But as well as that, the brush, I'll give you a closer look. It's got that really amazing tapered edge. So it kind of just fans out to fit, to fit the sh natural shape of your nail and also get into all the contours um, so you don't have to keep on adding layers and layers, which then obviously builds to a really thick finish and then it doesn't dry and you smudge and all of that kind of thing. So they're available now. There are a range of new shades as well, and this one is one of the new ones. So check them out in store. They're $14.95 each. Anyway, Primpers, that's it from me. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and be ready for a big New York Fashion Week next week here at Primped. And we'll see you then. Bye. And Primpers, don't forget to enter our latest Primped My Look Primped Instagram competition. All you have to do is take a picture of yourself and hashtag Primped My Look and mention the beauty products that you're wearing in the photo. So it could be a fragrance, a lipstick, a foundation or a nail polish and the most creative entry will win and it closes this Sunday night. So make sure you get in quick and you'll get to win six of the new Sally Hansen Complete Manicure Nail Shades. Good luck. Bye.